Since the absolute value is already solved for, we're going to go ahead and separate it into two separate inequalities. Since it's a greater than or equal sign, that means it's going to be an OR statement. Now we're going to solve each individual inequality, arbitrarily starting on the left hand side. As you can see, after some algebra, we get x less than or equal to positive 1. Then doing the same algebra on the right hand side, dividing by the negative, don't forget to flip the inequality symbol, x is greater than or equal to 7. Now identifying the solution sets for x less than or equal to 1 and x greater than or equal to 7, we're going to take the union of those two solution sets since it's an OR statement. And you'll see what the implication is of that union on the graph.